Uh, joining me right now is a, uh, a person that, and I won't, and I won't uh, age you here too much, Rick. But we've got a, We've got a guy in my boat pre-fishing with me right now. He's my uncle, and, and he, he's lived on Leech Lake, uh, the famous Leech Lake in Walker, Minnesota, for a long time, and has spent countless hours out there. And we've we've got him joining us here right now on the on the pre-fish tour here on Van Hook Arm. And Rick, uh, how do you how do you feel about what's going on out here right now? I know it's been trying, but I'd like to get your take on it. Well, I'm, I kind of compare it to what's happening on Leech Lake. Uh, the fish don't seem to be schooled up at all. You pick up one here, two there, go back, and uh, maybe another one here. But uh, they just finished a tournament on Leech Lake last weekend, and it was pretty much the same thing. The, the guys really had to move around a lot. There wasn't any concentration of the fish at all. So that, that would have been the, uh, was that the Leech Lake Classic, or what, what tournament was that? Correct. It, it was a classic. They have an AIM tournament in on Leech Lake this weekend, starting on uh, Saturday, I believe. You know, it's it's interesting when you when you tell me that. You know, looking at the Van Hook Arm right now and Lake Sakakawi in general. I mean, we've got so much food out here. I think the numbers of fish are pretty strong, and and the ones that we've caught, they're, they're really nice fish. Uh, kind of guessing from what I'm hearing from you is the fish are. Uh, kind of in the same boat there they got a lot of food and, and it's making it very challenging on the anglers mm, that's correct mike because it's kind of a transition period it seems like it, on leech uh it always was spot tail shiners to begin with uh and that that bite is pretty much over with it there's a lot more night crawlers and leech you know it's a mixed bag more of a smorgasbord out there right now kind of what we've got going on here well thanks rick i appreciate it I'm, i better tend to a, a bite here i've got on my line and i'm going to hand the phone over as, as i'm actually reeling in the fish <laughs> that is the truth <laughs> listeners he's he's got a fish on and it looks like it's halfway decent one we'll see what it is nope <laughs> Even the Mike Peluso gets full. He's got a he's got about a ten inch or a ten foot long rut. Uh, the the privileges of doing live stuff on on uh, on the fly here, dragging our we're dragging Lindy rigs and bottom bouncers and all that stuff. And certainly with the water down, we've got a lot of vegetation, a lot of sticks kind of in play right now, especially with the fish being as shallow as they are. It's kind of a lot of the old shorelines, so. We're in the we're in the thick of it, but yeah, we thought we had a fish there, but we do not. But uh, kind of a cool little take on what's happening over on Leech Lake, and comparing it here kind of to the Van Hook Arm, it's it's pretty interesting. Very similar things happening over there. So we will definitely have more to come as we go here with this tournament and keeping you guys in the loop of what's happening. And certainly we'll uh, we'll do more on Leech Lake here too as the season progresses, and some other lakes over Minnesota. We're going to be over on Pekagama Lake in July. We'll do some stuff similar to this then, and that's kind of a cool event. And so we got all kinds of stuff happening here on the Mike Peluso Outdoors. Whoa.